guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex or Belladonna Budgets and I created this channel primarily to document my debt-free journey as well as to track my progress in using the cash envelope stuffing system. And once in a while I will be, you know, confessing my deepest darkest financial habits and faults. So <laughs> yeah. So to those of you who are new to my channel or who are watching my video for the first time, welcome. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day, afternoon, or evening to watch or watch my videos and to support me. To my current subscribers and to those who have recently um, joined the Belladonna Budgets gang, thank you very much for all of your support and your encouragement and kindness truly means a lot to me. And speaking of kind support, we are going to be cash stuffing our first Etsy paycheck. So thank you so much, all of you guys who have um, purchased from my shop. It truly has been a great joy to make stuff for you. And I hope that whatever I give to you um, brings a lot of smile to your faces and that the products serve you well. Anyways, um, on my cash tray is $410. Now, I actually got paid $442 in some cents, and I just left the $2 in some cents in my account and decided to cash up $440. But I spent $25 on more supplies, and I do plan on listing surprise scratch savings challenge in the future so do look out for that and i've also spent five dollars on a and w honored rings which are one of my absolute favorite snacks so yeah um so let's count this cash we have 100 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, and 10. So $410. Now, if you look at my roster here, do you notice a new member? I will be talking about this in a moment. So <clears throat> we are going to start with the savings binder and that snowball binder. Now, I have been following a lot of you guys since the beginning of the pandemic and those of you who have been monetized on YouTube and have Etsy shop that cashed off their income from those two sources um, have informed all of us that YouTube and Etsy do not take taxes off and the magic number seems to be 30% off the income set aside for that for that purpose so that's what I am going to do okay. um, so that snowball is gonna get a hundred and thirty five dollars so 30% of a hundred oh, sorry 30% of $440 is $132, but I have rounded up to $135 to make it clean. So we are going to do that. 100, 20, 30, and 5. Okay. Ah. So we currently have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 50, 700, 20, 40, 55, 755 guys. So this debt snowball is for my consolidated debt and I am excited that we are almost at a thousand 
so there is going to be a payment of $420 that's coming off on the 15th and with this on top is gonna put that above um, $1,000 in, in terms of payments made for this month so yay and emergency fund is gonna get $25 Okay, so we have a thousand dollars in in the bank And on hand we have 125 And we are going to color off a $25 And as mentioned in previous videos, the savings challenge is by 40 plus life and she's linked in my description down below. So if you've noticed that um, there isn't that much glare, I purchased a, a set of two light diffusers that goes over my lamp, even though you can still see some glare. So I find that it has helped and i hope that it has helped in terms of the visual distraction part of it so do let me know what you think if it helps you guys or not so yeah um moving on so this is my business expense binder and isn't she gorgeous i just love this lavender and the sparkle and the sage green against the lavender is just a uh, perfect combination for me. Now, um, purple and green are my colors. So when I made a purchase for these binders, I thought to myself, I have to make this my business expense binder. So let's see what children she has. So I did make 10 envelopes and the first one is supplies second one is Etsy and this is going to be for clip arts and the licenses that goes with buying these clip arts for commercial use shipping and packaging mailbox equipment overhead and taxes which will definitely get stuff today customs and duties for overseas purchases branding because i do plan on making my business an llc at some point in the future and buffer so yeah i'm going to skip to taxes which is gonna get 30, 30% as mentioned is going to be 135 120, 35 uh, sorry, my eyes are itchy um, I'm not going to stuff all of these envelopes but the one envelope that I want to prioritize is the mailbox because I am currently on a six month contract and it's going to be ending soon. So it's going to get the rest of these except for the $5. So yeah, I will be cram stuffing this mailbox envelope. So this is going to get 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110. Okay. Moving on to my personal binder. And before I stuff the last $5, I just want to put in an Etsy plug um, take you guys out a week ago 
I decided to purchase a clip art set from an Etsy seller, which I regretfully forgot, but she will definitely be posted when I edit this video and her the link to her, her shop will be in my description below. She has made these cute um, summer drinks clip art set and I decided to make myself savings challenges with these because I love bubble tea and I drink a lot of um, coffee um, and I also love my alcoholic drinks but lately I have been going ham in a bad way so in order to control my spending I just want to make it fun for myself while disciplining myself so so in order to control that I just decided that I need to have a savings challenge to allow me to be able to have these drinks and to control my spending so I am hoping that this is going to work well for me so I'll just show you what this looks like this is my bubble tea savings challenge it's my drinks challenge and my coffee frappuccino challenge so this is beyond my regular McDonald's coffee during the weekends um, yeah I currently have the um, digital version of these um, drinking challenges on sale in my Etsy well it's not on sale but it's listed sorry and I do plan to make the physical products of these drinking challenges um i have the envelope version and my envelopes typically measure six and a half inches by 3.25 inches i also have the insert versions and these will fit into any of my envelopes like so so the inserts measure 3.25 inches by 3 inches. So yeah, let me know what you think about these. And if you're interested in purchasing these as physical products. Yeah, so it's what the inserts look like. Perfect. Okay. So, going back to the last $5, I am going to be putting it in the Bubble Tea Savings Challenge. And what my plan is, is once I complete it either halfway or fully, the monies in here will go towards a gift card for myself to buy bubble tea. And um, I think I'm just gonna focus on the alley which is a very good bubble tea shop nice so i was very much inspired by those um, loyalty stamp cards where if you buy a certain amount you get a free drink so what i did was for the two lines i put seven icons worth five dollars each and on the eighth icon i can treat myself so yeah savings can be fun as well why not I'm just gonna color one of these yeah make it a matcha or an avocado why not and once these are completed I can reuse it again so all I need to do is take some rubbing alcohol wipe off all the colors and then start over again so yeah anyways guys uh, short video thank you so much for watching my video till the end and if you haven't done so and would like to consider please hit the subscribe button as it really helps my channel grow and do leave a like or your comments below because i want to interact with you guys until then thank you for everything and i will see you in the next video bye